This video covers the steps for removing and replacing the cover on an extend fit convertible car seat. The steps for this removal and replacement process can also be found in your manual. To begin, raise the headrest to its tallest height, remove the harness covers, unbuckle the chest clip, and the buckle. Remove the infant insert and set aside with the harness covers to use later. Then fully loosen the harness to its longest length. From the rear of the car seat, remove both of the harness straps from the splitter plate as shown. From the front of the car seat, pull the harness straps all the way out of the harness slots. From the back of the car seat, remove the elastic tabs at the back of the headrest. Remove the elastic straps at the side of the seat where the extension panel is. Repeat this step on both sides. Grabbing from the sides of the shell, remove the seat cover all the way around the car seat. Next, remove these two elastic straps at the back of the seat pad on the back of the car seat. Remove the pieces of the chest clip and the buckle tongues from the harness straps to remove the seat pad from around the harness. Lift up the seat pad to remove the harness straps from the bottom. Then lift the seat pad away from the car seat. Care and cleaning instructions can be found in your car seat manual. To remove the car seat cover around the headrest, begin by removing the infant head insert. Then remove these elastic straps from both sides of the headrest. Make sure to repeat on both sides. From here, you can remove the seat pad from around the headrest. To replace, start by putting the headrest cover back over the headrest. From the side of the headrest, replace both the elastic straps. Repeat on both sides. At the back of the headrest, replace the elastic straps. Make sure to feed the elastic strap all the way through with your free hand. Replace the seat pad around the car seat, making sure to go over the headrest. Next, to replace the harness straps, First, pull them all the way forward so you make sure you're putting the correct harness strap through the correct slot. Then, ensuring there are no twists and turns, feed the harness strap back through the seat pad and repeat on both sides. Also, replace the crotch buckle through the seat pad at the appropriate slot for your child. Next, replace the buckle tongues onto the harness strap. Make sure that as you are replacing, there is no twist, and when the harness strap is in its regular position, the buckle tongue points downward to be connected into the crotch buckle. Next, replace the chest clip, making sure that the two halves will point in the correct directions for proper attachment. Again, making sure there are no twists or turns in the harness strap. Repeat this process for both sides. Next, starting from the back, replace the seat cover around the shell of the car seat and fit it around the cup holders. The elastic around each cup holder 
will help it to stretch to fit back properly. From the side of the car seat, replace both the elastic straps from the front of the seat around to the side. It will be easiest to complete this step once you have fully extended the extend to fit extension panel. Next, replace the two elastics at the back of the seat pad. One trick to make this step easier is to lower the headrest a few positions to help replace this piece of the seat pad into its correct position. Repeat on both sides. At the front of the seat, feed the front adjuster strap back through the opening. Then, to replace the harness straps, start by raising the headrest back to its tallest position. Making sure the strap is flat and not twisted, feed the strap through the soft goods into the opening at the back of the shell. Repeat on both sides. As you replace the harness straps through the slots, make sure that they sit over this bar and make sure that the tether strap is not in the way. Then replace both harness straps onto the splitter plate. Make sure both of the harness straps are fully contained within the splitter plate and ensure the central front adjust strap is straight and does not have any twists or turns. Buckle the buckle tongues and replace the chest clip to ensure once more that there are no twists or turns in the harness. Return the headrest to the correct position for your child and if you were using the infant inserts before, those can be replaced as well. Once you have completed these steps, your extend fit convertible car seat is ready to be reinstalled in your vehicle.